Right, hello there. Ahoy. And uh, good evening. I am Tiny Pirate, and I am just trying to find the link for this live stream, which should now be working. Hooray. And uh, I will... Like, people... <sighs> Come on, YouTube. All right. There we go. I found right, the link hello. so I can actually paste it. That's so weird how it does that. I wish I knew how to do that better. But I don't. I have to wait for things to load. So we are currently uh, having a look at how to do a hacking scene within the wonderful Foundry system. And because this is a live video, I have to do a couple of other small admin things before I get going. So I really like... Uh, using Foundry for things that it's really good at. And I think one of the things you can do with it that's kind of interesting is show off different kinds of scenes and use features of Foundry to great effect. So I want to show you what that can look like. So uh, let me just do this. Uh, showing off how to make cool interactive uh, interactive hacking scenes in Foundry. Uh, just going to tell some folks on Facebook. There we go. So, um, you know, you've got your hacking, you've got your droids and all of that stuff. And one of the things you can do, I think, which is really fun, is create a scene that gives the hacker some real tension, some stuff to do. So I'm going to find uh, in my... Where have I got? Is this here? Actually, this year should go... In, yeah, no, this here is in the library. So here's a scene that I coded or set up for a hacker player. And um, what it basically shows, uh, this normally, of course, is um, the scene navigator mod, and I you know, players don't have it. What it shows is I'm in the obviously the GM's view, and I can see a full stack of uh, a mainframe or a server that a player has to hack. I'll just show you what it looks like before I talk through what it's actually about. So I'm going to clear the fog of war and I'm going to show you now what the player sees. So this is what the player sees when they start. Um, the purple dice are actual difficulties and actually these are all down one for reasons I'll explain. And the player can uh, essentially, what, what I did in the scene was I had all the players um, stuck outside a temple like this. It was kind of an ancient ruined hut temple, minus the cat. And they were being attacked, and they were like trapped in the doorway. Bad dudes are approaching. It's all very hectic. And the slicer, who in this case is uh, our droid, Nina, who's a very wonderful and charismatic droid. He's been around for a little while, so his skills are definitely uh, climbing up. Um, he uh, is... Um, he, he was jacked into the into the mainframe and his job was to try and save their bacon by closing the outer doors uh, and I gave him one hack action a turn and that gave meant multiple turns that the players, the rest of the players had to hold off the attacking Zissians um, the first thing he did was decide that he was going to go and hack the credential store um, so I made him ro roll like a four purple dice difficulty hack which was pretty tough for him uh, I think he used a destiny, and he got the hack, which meant that he opened the door. Ta-da! And in game system terms, what I decided was he he had hacked the credentials, got into the mainframe, found the found the credentials, hacked the store, and now all of these I then just manually modified to be uh, only one less difficulty. So then he was like, "Shit, heck, what do I do next? What do I do next?" So he went in his next turn and tried to hack security. He failed um, when it was at like two or yeah I think he actually did fail uh, and then that was a whole other turn he had to do stuff um, he's getting shot at the rest of the team are covering and him and trying to shoot back um, I have no idea why this weird status effect is on so then eventually he hacks this one and wow he's now in he's got door control or friend or foe coding and he doesn't know what the friend or foe coding is so he hacked the doors and after that they were able to you know he was able to close the doors so it's like three or four quite tense turns 
With the doors closed, they then had a lot of options. And I made a bit of a mistake here was that I didn't, I just allowed them to go off and just hack everything else rather than be in a location to do the hack. So he was like, oh yes, okay, well I'll hack this. And oh yeah, I can access the turrets, cool. And oh, there's some combat droids, there's some ancient hut droids. Well, I'm gonna hack them and I'm gonna uh, come back over here and uh, change the friend or foe system. And then, oh, I've got a bit of time. And so actually that all became a little bit pointless because he had no time pressure and he was able to hack all the all them things. So yeah, not I didn't run that very well, but I have an opportunity to run it better, which is why I uh, want to show this because I'm gonna build it now. So um, coming back over to the scene, um, we have, what what is going on with these weird status effects? It's so, I don't even know why they're here. There's some mods in this that are, are definitely going a bit funny. So I know people are interested in the mods I'm running. Ambient doors, I hope to use that tonight. Combat utility belt allows me, allows each of the players to just quickly access their weapons or their other skills, which is great. Just click on them. Also great for the GM. Um, dice and ice, dice tray, drag upload is useful. FFG Star Wars enhancements in the combat video, you'd have seen that. Those are all obvious. Hidden soundtracks, can't remember what it does, but it's good. Lock view I use a lot. Maestro, I can't remember. Monk's scene is the stuff up here. Party resources is this stuff, which I highly recommend. Kind of fun. Control the inflation. Make the make the players constantly feel that resource bite. Um, also gives you cool rewards you can give them. Party, uh, what else we got here? Uh, PDF Foundry and other things. And something in here, somewhere in here will be something that's broken, which annoys me. Probably token action start at status icons, something like that. Anyway, so we need to make a scene. So the situation is, and if people are super interested, I'll ask the players on Monday if they want to see this streamed. So they are at a, uh, no, Horizon's Edge. They are at a secret Dark Fang pirate base. They've uh, been given a mission. So basically they're mostly bonded to a hut and the hut has them in this beat up old ship which is a tr 410 uh, it's a fan-made ship i found on the internet and i thought it was absolutely gorgeous let me see if i can drag a window over i mean look at that that is just the coolest looking ship it is meant to be a f freighter a tanker so this this thing is um like a tanker there's a corellian you know it looks, looks like a looks like corellian ships command pod dorsal and ventral turret tanker space big engines um i just thought this was gorgeous so of course um i wanted to run it and i found a deck plan uh mm. someone some fan made so i was like yeah that's going to be your first ship don't want to give them anything too cool so they have been given this ship by this this hut that they owe uh, this favor to and they are um also ended up accidentally doing some piracy so a friend of theirs asked them to help fight pirates by being bait for pirates, by you know, throwing out a distress signal. But little did they know, the, the friend was actually seeking to, and his friends were seeking to escape life as freighter pilots due to complex reasons. And they uh, actually pirated the ship that um, came to rescue them, which was their goal all along. So our pirate friends got found out by the company that owned that ship. And they got very annoyed and they got blackmailed to go and rescue the pirates. The, so the, the, the corporation's agent from this station. Actually, no, the company that owned the ship doesn't know, but the someone else does who's important. And he doesn't like the huts. So they're, they're kind of working for two masters. Inside this station, um, they have uh, got a few things going on. So there's corridors, there's all kinds of droids. So there's these quite broken um, B1, whoa, that grid needs fixing. There's quite broken B1 battle droids, um, essentially. Why are you so tiny? Uh, these old battle, Oh, that is bizarre. We're just going to pretend that doesn't exist. There's broken B1 battle droids. Um, they have are following a. Uh, they keep reciting weird um, political statements because they are uh, reciting their leader B1 MRX B1 marks. So uh, these droids have become uh, really, really popular. They're well loved by a nine hour droid character who is a bit of a independence minded droid. Um, 
and he thinks of helping them lead a revolution because the players somehow have to find someone in the space station and rescue that person and get them off the ship or get them off the station and away from the pirates but before they can either f foment droid revolution or do something else they have to have a look around so in here there's be a droid workshop um there's also oh we haven't talked about that there's a cute little droid here um this is one of the npcs they just recruited and made me randomly invent as uh, a this gill there's uh where's gill old gill with his um with his droid buddy mises and mises has got googly eyes stuck on him by old gill and old gill's a droid repair guy who they brought out and there's a droid workshop because those droids going wonky the event horizon bar which is something like this along with uh, one of the pirate captains and an actual um uh, pirate queen i need to convert her token uh and what else is there there's a medical office there's some quarters which is where they kind of get jammed in most of the time um security room here's the hangar that kind of stuff uh so in the next session they've set their eyes or minds on there's a few ships that are hanging around in the um so at least a couple of these hanging around hanging around in the hangar well it's pretty obvious i would have guessed along with their ship and they're like they, they really know they're gonna they're gonna screw over these pirates they don't really want to join them um they're there to rescue uh this this um this fella um we'll go back to this one because i've got the grid set up better they're there to no not him they're there to no not where Ugh. okay okay i haven't fixed the token they're there to rescue uh this guy come with your character artwork yeah he's the agent the agent the, ag the special agent that the uh they've been hired to rescue pull him out of the pull him out of there um to do that they're currently settling on this idea of maybe some kind of hacking they don't know where he is on the ship he'll be in the brig he'll be on in the brig along with this kind of rival of theirs who's an archaeologist who's working for the imperials and that's a long and convoluted story they may want to recruit him to help um if they're smart they will they may not realize that's a good idea uh so they have this job um rick Viker, one of the other cap, cap, pirate captains and a bunch of other pirate captains and potentially the battle droids if they don't deal with them um, by recruiting them uh and some other random pirates which I haven't created will get in their way so the hack what i want to do Blimnik, i'm really sorry it's been like what is it I think 12 minutes, I haven't even talked about the hacking. What I want to do is give the players, so they hack the door to their quarters, uh, but they know that that doesn't connect to any other part of the network. Um, I, I want to give them the opportunity to get to security or to like a medical office or somewhere more serious, maybe the droid workshop, which will be more significant parts of the network. When they're there, I want to allow them to discover the network and then to hack pieces of it to their benefit because it's kind of fun while the droid uh, while their droid is hacking while nine is hacking they will probably have to fight off pirates so there's a neat time pressure um, to the scene and so for that we're gonna have to make a scene and i have to think about that as we do it so what i have is how i like to do this which is not to mess around with my silly desktop but to mess around with google slides so yay aren't you lucky you get to see a whole bunch of um google slide messing around let's get rid of the um, show bookmarks bar uh and here's some components i leave lying around so i'm just going to duplicate the slide and we'll we'll mess with this one so what i have here is first of all there's a background and google slides is just brilliant for this and i've put on it a filled box which uh what is it what is it how, how have i even filled it uh, I filled it and I've made it custom transparency, like 63% light blue. That's just to make everything stand out a little bit more. Uh, if you're watching uh, and you're interested in what I'm doing, then like drop me a chat or ask me questions. I'm super keen to talk to folks about this because I think it's kind of fun. Now, I, st I did borrow this idea off uh, a guy on the Foundry Star Wars Discord channel and i can't remember we sort of went it back and forth with this both of us who then developed this idea and i can't remember who we was i'm very sorry so uh what i want to do is think about chunks of the network and i want to apportion them off so um i i'm almost going to where is the, the zoomy con zoom controls on this 
Uh, not that. Um, there's probably zoom, control A, control Alt. Okay, let's just do that. So what I want to do is mostly just uh, drag some of these components away and get rid of these little. Can <sighs> Gosh, of course, get rid of some of these connection lines early. Now I do want to have. Um, I have to shift. It's weird. Like this is one thing slides does differently is it selects the background. So I have to unselect it. I want to, I don't really need a thing called archives. That was specific to the, um, and the codex as well. That was very specific to the hut scenario. Um, you see, because the Imperials have figured out that the huts have this weird, um, almost religion, religious belief in the, uh, future and fate of the of the huts it's a very su big superstition they don't talk about anyone to do with the pulsar the god's heart and they're going to exploit that if they can that's the big plan so i don't think i want to do a i don't know if i want to do a cred store this time but i, I do have to start at like a, some kind of jack-in point um oh, come here okay so we will uh Come on, why am I, why, oh, there you go. I'm selecting the wrong thing. So, uh, what I'll probably do is just copy this in. I'm gonna put that here. And what you've got to do is not go too close to the edges because otherwise you fill up the whole scene with, with data that's hard to read. Um, that's, oh, whoops, I'm used to, used to my other controls, aren't I? Uh, yeah. So access point, I'm just going to drag this about here. Yeah, it looks about right. So access point. What I will probably do is duplicate this multiple times around the scene. So that, and it depends on where my player is going to be. And I'll use walls to kind of hide that off. So I definitely need a droid hang, uh, I would say hangar and security. Um, and what I might do is apportion things off with a uh, shape, like a really fat, uh, I don't need it filled. So I need it transparent. And, but I wanna give it a uh, really big fat green border maybe. Like I want it to be really fat so that the walls I build in a foundry can indicate that they're there. So can I just duplicate this a few times? Would that be cool? Does it does it fit? Oh yeah, I reckon that'll fit. That kind of will fit. Uh, do I want to do I want to make it a little bit mm, a little bit oddly shaped? Uh, yeah, that's probably fine. Just do something like this. Um, I haven't quite, what I'm pondering, I think this works. So to me right now, this stuff down here is, um, I keep clicking and no, I don't want that either. It's a little big, uh, that's okay. No, I don't want that text. I want, okay. Uh, don't need that. I'll need to uh, order bring to the front range order bring to front now you've probably got if you're if you're ever doing this you're going to have your own potentially your own tools which are really game do you not want me to access this at all which are much better for this kind of job you might find other tools enjoyable i, I don't know this one seems to work for me i mean yeah it's google it's cheap everyone can do it so access point um let's just drag these away for now they're just getting they're just getting annoying so I kind of want to indicate uh, to the player that there are other systems, but I don't want the player to be able to access them unless, you know what, I'm even going to drag this away. It's just getting in the way. I don't want the player to access them unless they are in the room, essentially. So first access point. Uh, where do the players like to go first? Let's just say this is the uh, hangar. So I could color them differently. So hanger I might have, uh, could have door control. Mm. 
could be door control. Yep. Well, I've already got a door control. I think that one probably works. So I would just put this here. And uh, yeah, I might reduce the number of things that we have in this whole system. And what I'm going to do is, uh, do I have an existing little arrow? What did I settle on? I settled on no points, null point to connect things. So here's my very cyber colored. Uh, oh, come on, game. I mean, whatever this tool is, uh, slides, Google thing. So there's door control, um, prob control alt minus. It probably works fine. No, here we go. So I have to build this scene up. Uh, and just do that. I want, a, want a little bit closer. Now I could get super fussy, but I'm going to try not to be because uh, no one wants to see that. Come here, connect. Just connect and uh, okay. Shift order uh, range order bring to front. Cool. So that'll be the door control for the hanger. And eventually I'll put a large word hanger, hanger, hanger around the edges of this area. What else could there be in the hanger? Probably logs, uh yeah, system logs. Um might want to drop that down to about eighteen. Think just I need to fit in purple numbers within Foundry itself. I'll make it bold. Yeah, sure. Seems all right. Uh, and if I just copy that, I uh, will eventually. Okay. Um, let's have a look. We could put in uh, why is that hanger logs? So this could be like a bit of a, a bait for the player, something pretty easy to handle, but it's going to be hopefully pretty entertaining. Um, I don't know what else would be in a hanger. I'm going to just leave that there for now. If you have any, oh, get out of the way. If you have any good ideas, then give them to me because I will steal them and stick them in the game. Let me just check Foundry. Uh, yeah, we're going to have enough room. So we have that. I'm going to put a little box around it and we'll call this, uh, and I might insert text, text, text. Um, may, oh, maybe just do that. I'll make that white. Oh, no, 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 no. Come here. Make this kind of white. I'm trying to think of how to show the player that there are other places on the network that they can go when they first arrive. So they'll arrive here, and but there'll be a, essentially there'll be a wall um, here that with doors. That's They know that they can access door control, but they're going to have to do the hack to do it. And then once the hack's there, then that system becomes unlocked. Uh, but... Arial seems like a lame font for a computer. Impact probably makes the most sense. Wow, okay, that's terrible. That's still terrible. I think the bold is a problem. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> I don't know, that seems a bit weird. Does it seem a bit weird? Eh, it's, a, it's a little bit weird. I don't know. Eh, don't overthink it too much. Um, actually, that font is almost unreadable on this. Something, oh wow, yeah, we're not cowboys. Something a little less lame. Oh yeah, that works. What was that, Oswald or something? Cool, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. And of course, we'll put the... Um, the fadey background in, which will make life a little little easier in due course. So that'll be a little easier to read. So we have the hanger done. Um, this access point, uh, I will just drag this up here. 
Um, is it is it in the right kind of place? Probably is. No, just come on, game. Don't. Okay, give me weird stuff. Fine. Uh, so what am I going to do here? This one could be droids. Um, and what I might do is. Um, allow some tunneling between the networks but it's way easier that could be fun yeah oh, that could be an interesting idea so what I'll do is I'll allow some uh, bridging between networks however um, it might be really really difficult so I'll have to have a think about how that works that's my current plan so uh, Let's just have a look at what we've got here. Uh, it's it's okay. It's heading the right direction. So um, let's keep an eye on the. Oops, keep an eye on this stream bit. Uh, so from the access point, there would probably be um, again. If I select that. service logs should be an easy hank if they wanted to do that I would expect them not to we will see and uh, I could have actually there's another one I want to do which is actually I'm just going to drop this down here so I can reuse it which is uh, like a command channel so this will be how the B1 battle droids are commanded this will be a very complex hack if they actually let me just line this up first this will be a very complex hack if they if they want to try and pull this off um, ah, there we go it's basically this basically working now <laughs> cool um, command channel we'll call it I gotta leave a little bit of space so that'll be the way that they can uh, access other systems um, and what I will do is probably uh, eh, like can you not can you just give me the thing I want to do without being a complete pain okay game that seems to be okay so what I will probably do is insert a I'm going to insert like a shape here to indicate that there's kind of a um, I think almost like a firewall connection it's gonna maybe be red it's pretty pretty hot I think you'll agree and we'll put a red border on it that's pretty comp Ugh, way too big and we'll just say that that's like a particularly uh, difficult um, bit of bit of why are you not that to that Ugh. this looks a little bit children children's art doesn't it but never mind so the idea is the player could see that there's a bridge to another network without having to travel there they could access it um, and that will go both ways um, but to do that it's going to be pretty difficult okay so we've got workshop 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 hanger 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 um I think there's going to be security. Um, the secu this one, I might make this almost like bridgeable from here to other locations. Yeah, that one could work, but it's going to be like really, really, really difficult for them to to pull this this kind of hack off. So to go from here. I'd go from here to the uh, ugh, that one's terrible arrow so these will all have purple numbers on them basically so they could punch out of the workshop um, firewall to go to the hangar firewall and vice versa 
Uh, I think that could be kind of fun. What I want, though, is I don't want the players to just be able to hack the Gibson from within, like, their quarters or within a safe, secure environment. They're always going to have to be pressured for this plan to work. There we go. Uh, and then over here, maybe there is just a third system, uh, which is... Did I cop did I I didn't helpfully copy my thing off to one side, did I? So I've given them a channel for the droids. Um, maybe this is a whole big area, which is uh, security. And kind of thinking, do I want to let them in to the security system? So the droid workshop's a little bit of a freebie if they do get there. I know they've got plans to communicate on the on the droid channel. Um, so this would be security so the way they need to get to this access point if they wanted to would be to um, get into the security room oh we've got uh, the brig which I actually haven't set up as a scene yet so I need a sci-fi brig to, to pull that off I'm sure I can google up a cool image so uh, we've got security 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 and um, yeah, that'll work, especially when I put this in, it'll be a bit easier to read. Whoops. So we have this access point and I think what I could do, yeah, that, that actually will work. I'll put like a, a firewall access point here, which tells the players that they'll see it but they'll just know that it's an incredibly secure part of the network like it's going to be like a six dice like a five dice a five purple dice kind of defense defended area um so they'll know that it's somewhere on the network but they won't be able to necessarily get in to that area uh arrange order bring to front make those little icon little lines go behind but that will hopefully get them really curious about what's on the other side which is part of the fun so within the access point here we have um so we have this oh, just just this come on google i wish it wouldn't do that it shouldn't give you all these selections that you don't want it just shouldn't it's bad uh, okay so we have brig uh pull it up a little bit um of course you you couldn't do what i asked you to do um mm -mm. yeah so we got the brig and accessing that it should be pretty high on their priority list we have um the sent there's a whole bunch of external sentries. Um, so there's like an external defense matrix network. External defense. We'll just call it that. And one thing I do want to do as well is that there's probably like a sensor network or something. Um, so some of these might be way easier depending on their time frame. I got, I've got to keep them. I've got to keep them really on a schedule or the risk is that they just, yeah, we just spend the next 20 minutes just hacking everything, at which point there's no point in letting them roll because eventually, you know, they'll, they'll roll a triumph or something and just be like, yeah, sweet, I've got the time, I do it properly. I've got to rush them, put the blank dice on them. Um, Okay, no, just, just, no, just, I want this, oh, okay, just this, which, no, just let me move this up a bit, yeah, the, the way, the way slides does this stuff is super annoying, um, and then it breaks all of these other random things along the way, really, you're gonna do it like that? Okay, cool. That's better. What else could be there? So we've got the security systems will have the sensor network, brig, the brig controls, external defenses. Um, I might even put 
of course it had to move the entire green box as well didn't it maybe we will put in like life support would you leave that in security i think you might that's going to keep someone pretty busy to mess with um seems like something you'd you'd maybe want to be careful about leave it in security so the access points just tell the player that yeah these are all connected to this access point um i could daisy chain them i think i did that in my scene did i do that in my scene over here let me have a look uh, da, 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 mainframe well kind of but i'm sort of doing that by breaking up uh this is this one into rooms i guess you could say with these a uh, high-end high cost connections between them which you will you will see uh when we set it up so mm, that's probably enough to be honest like you don't want to over do it or your poor players are just gonna hate you um i might put like this room notices on the outside of the rooms as well so that like they could get out of this onto the network easily but they might be like holy heck like there's no chance of us breaking into um security if I hold down shift i can snap it um from here you know but they'll know it's there and they'll uh, arrange order send to back yeah like they'll know security is there based on this text essentially um and they'll because and that difficulty right they'll be like oh okay we've got to be a bit careful here uh and i should consider some kind of active counter defenses as well but i haven't haven't thought about what that would be just yet so i'm pondering it um what else have we got? Access points. We've got security. Do I, I think we'll do workshop as well. It's possible they'll end up starting out wanting to know what these various locations are and they'll get into them relatively early. Um, workshop, workshop. It's, it's, it's looking a little cluttered. Um, hmm. I'm sort of okay with that. It's supposed to be a little bit confusing. It's like a pirate's um, crummy network. So yeah, whatever. Uh, my players have to deal, uh, and they usually just they they just really enjoy these kind of scenes anyway, uh, because we'll put them under we'll put them under some pressure, time pressure, uh, enemy pressure, all kinds of pressure. Um, hanger, hanger, hanger. Order uh, center back and uh oops wrong button mm. if you have any other good ideas or things you think should be useful to security let me know in the chat otherwise i think i will uh send it back put this overlay in or this underlay so as you can see now um we have a, a space in which the the player can see what's going on and they they'll the, some of the stuff will they they need to be able to see this really clearly and uh, can i just can i i just might have to do uh, if i do like a separate like little one like this boop yeah i don't know oh actually why don't i just drag the middle bit okay it goes to there now where's my let me <sighs> okay so it's got rid of my ability to control that that hook which is a shame um i could do this because i need you'll see in a minute i need to be able for the for the for the system to 
Um, yeah, they, it's it's not perfect, but it will do. We need to be able to see these things when the players are uh, inside the network because we're going to put up walls so that some things become kind of invisible to them until they unlock them. Um, which is cool. Oh look, now I get the little yellow draggy handle bit. Fair enough. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, okay, order, arrange, order, bring to front. Workshop, hanger, hanger, security, security. Ah, oh, that'll do. That's fine. And some of these colors could probably be like, would they be better a little different? I'm starting to think so just because the uh, blue in the background is very strong. So let's see if we can pick them all. Okay, well, I'll try that. Uh, well, the purple definitely stands out. I don't know, it feels piratey. We'll go with it. Is it that purple? Sure is. Makes it a bit of, <laughs> bit of a contrast from some of the others. And then we'll export it and create a scene. So this is the part that everyone will be way more familiar with. And you may find that you disagree with how this is done or you have some other ideas to increase attention. And I'll talk about how I would want to run the scene once it's all exported. So, okay, get out, just move. Okay, so this is the station event horizon security network, you could say. And now what we're going to do is file... Share, publish, is it share? Nope, not share. Hmm. Selected slides. I swear I've done this. Oh, download, there we go, as a PNG. Nice. And I'll stick that in my backgrounds folder. Like, where, where did it go? <laughs> did it actually happen? Uh, downloads? Is it? I'll just check over. Nope. Um, like, why not? Oh no, here we go. Where did that come from? Hacking map. Okay, it finally downloaded. Cool. So let us go and uh, ignore this scene. We'll come back to Horizons Edge. Uh, horizons edge here we are and we're gonna create let's look over to this because I'm getting tired of the music so we have uh, our library here here's our structure <gasps> the ship oh by the way that's what I set up for the ship so some of these are um, kind of fun scenes um, a giant map <gasps> by Tim from old dog games that's in my uh, link actually I need to drag the player's ship to Horizon's Edge. So if you go to uh, my description video, you'll find a link and you'll find old dog games in there for these cool maps. Ship Lounge, uh, kind of remember where I got this and it's obviously cool and now we're Horizon's Edge. So we want to create a new scene and it's called Net H uh, H uh, Network. I'm just going to call it HE Network. Create scene. So this is going to be navigable so I can get to it from this top bar. Um, the back oh uh, hacking map I've just well, I've just got it in another uh, I'm gonna call it, I'm just gonna rename it he network I've got it in another window where I'm just gonna move it to my backgrounds folder which is under pocket or two which is the name of this game and he network I like to occasionally just sift through cool backgrounds all right, so here's where things get a little different from, from many people. Uh, gridless, I think. 100 is probably fine. We'll see. Lighting. Oh, your token vision is on for this. Uh, there's no darkness. Ambience. I should... I'm just going to use... In space? Just our general... No, hangers which is just a general hum. I should come up with some kind of cyber track, shouldn't I? 
but then I think it gets a bit distracting for players flicking between. So a lock pan, lock zoom, and fit inside because I love lock view and it's working again. Whammo, let's have a look what it looks like. Whoa, flick over to this. So pretend the players aren't seeing that. So this is what we've got right now. Um, and the the players can dock the stuff at the side, but there's actually a little, there's kind of enough room there to make this work. I, th I think that's. Uh, without fiddling around, I think that's probably fine. So this is where I would start adding our own stuff. So what I would do is, and I uh, I hate this process with a passion. So we want to create, I can't remember the difference between train walls or walls. We want to draw walls. Yeah. Let me draw walls. What are these? Clone? Secret doors? Doors? Ethereal walls? No. So we want to do walls or doors. Um, and the part that I really hate about this system is the way that the doors and walls dock and it draw. Actually, uh, where is the scene navigation? We are going to turn off the uh, locking for now. I have myself restricted as well because I don't like things scrolling weirdly. So we have to do a lot of, of setting up these. Like, can you not snap? Just sit where I tell you to. You'll do. And what I then do is uh, we will do this. Actually, probably like this. Um, come on. No, don't. Oh my god, I swear this, this part absolutely kills me every time and I hate this the most. It's one of the reasons I play uh, this type of systemless, not systemless, but this kind of game. And then we're going to put a door from... Of course you did that. Door. Okay, come on. Door. Now I drag it to here. And I drag it to here. Default sound. Uh, default sound doesn't address. Okay, sound effects. Uh, uh, I have a cool cyber cyber door. Okay, close. So now, if I come back to this view, wow! Of course, it does nothing. Okay, there should be a cyber door sound, but uh, ah, what can you do? So, okay, so that's starting to be the shape of a room. What I will do now is throw in another. That's not what I want. I'll get it set up so you can see what it does look like in case you don't want to stick around forever. And then we will continue, uh, and then I'll continue fill filling it out and for anyone who's a real masochist. So um, this is going to, these are going to be behind their own little box as well. So this tells uh, the player that this is a, there is some something here, it's kind of cool, but they don't have access to it because it's locked, basically. Um, and they're gonna have to hack to get through. Come on. Uh, yeah, the select and deselect is very annoying amongst many other th issues I have with the system. And I don't know, maybe I've watched tutorials, I just don't get it. I just I just can't make this work for me in a way that feels cool. But I'm I'm getting there with this one, so that's okay. So um that's almost working. So let's say you are our hacker droid. And what I tend to do actually is I let all the other players look as well. So I just pop them in the scene. But the hacker droid is the uh, friendly niner who will be doing the hack, is the only one who gets to start in this. So if he's in here, oh, um, yeah, there's no proper token vision. Okay, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Configure, lighting, fog exploration, 
What? What? They shouldn't need to be. Oh. What? 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 What am I? What am I doing? So we do want fog exploration. We don't want to have to worry about token vision. No, we do. We do. We just want unrestricted range. You can tell how often I don't use this system, right? Token vision, unrestricted vision range, as long as they're inside the box. There we go. Um, oh, okay. So we're leaking. Our walls. Our walls are leaking here. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, you connect to that. No, well, this is the. You see, oh, if I hold shift, it'll probably work. All right, so now we've got to collect, click, clear the fog of war, start this again. And you've picked up, what is that? Okay, so this is what the player sees. Oh, man. The corners. Yeah, this is the best feature of this system. Like, it is really powerful, but man, it's just... Mm. Okay. Will you be happy now? It looked like it would be happy. Okay, now, and again, weird red icon, never mind. Still no. Why did I pay for this software? One thing you can do is just drag one past the other. Like if I put that about there, and of course you do want the walls to be vaguely straight. It actually kind of, you can't really see it when they're not. like that should work and you shouldn't see it uh, clear yes player click all right cool so now he can see that there's a leak but i'll fix that later he can see that this is the space in which he can operate uh, and then he knows that he can hack gain access to the doors in the hangar or he can hack and gain access to that stuff so how do we do that let's uh, clear the fog of war uh, fix these walls down here. Uh, just this wall. Just let me just cross them slightly. Are they okay back here? Look, they seem fine back here and fine here. So what I would now do is I'm actually going to go to my library. Go to Zissia. Oops, this here. Go to the mainframe here, and I believe these are words, or letters. What? No. <sighs> okay, cool. Copy that. Uh, close my library. Back to my HE network. Paste it in. Yeah, my grid's a little different. Text for make it 40. So I'm going to say that to get maybe a bit bigger. Number four, make it 60. Ariel. What does Mondesto Condense look like? Ooh, that looks kind of lame. Uh, so yeah, we'll make sure it's 60. So we are saying, yes, this is a four difficulty hack to get out on the network. Cut curvy walls. <laughs> Ropey Littman is giving me help. It makes creating shapes easier. It makes snapping, etc. improvements. Okay, I'm opening that in a new tab. Curvy walls mod foundry. You just watched me and you've been like, God damn it, dude, why don't you just go and do the thing? Yeah, that's a good question. Why don't I do the thing? So we've got that. Uh, to me, what I'll also do is say that uh, the um access logs maybe the hangar logs are a three i would think that the oh, hangar doors i mean they're not vital on the on the system that when the players came in they were um the hangar doors were open but they had the energy field up blah 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 so that was good um so that's how i would set that up so now if you want to see how this would work the player, you know, they might be, um, they'll start off like, uh, they'll start off, uh, where are we? 
Oh, it doesn't really matter. I might as well put the player back. The player might the players might end up in the hangar because they're actually really interested in stealing one of the ships. And so they're going to jack in, and I'll say, yeah, always you got to close the doors, or this just doesn't work. And why are you doors not working with the sounds that I want? And that's select. No. Oh, door open. We had the sound. It was cyber door open or cyber 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 tinkle. And door open. I think it was also cyber tinkle. Okay, we'll see if it works this time. It probably won't. So yeah, player's like, okay, wow, what am I going to do? There's this network over here, and I know there's something. Like, I'm inside the hangar. I kind of like that, that green glow around the edge. It's kind of cool. So they're in the hangar. What are we going to do? Okay, uh, well, whoa, that's really hard. Okay, broken line of sight. That's really hard, man. Like, I don't know if I want to try that, but you know what? I'd love to access the doors. So that'll be their action. Cyber tinkle. They hack. Yay, and we get access to the doors. So now they have door control. Uh, and then he's like, okay, yeah, hangar logs. He's unlikely to get the time, but if he wanted to, I'll let him access and then um, download the hangar logs. Um, one thing that's kind of annoying is I can't leave like the view permanent. That does give you a bit of fog of war, but hey, it's not the end of the world. Um, let's assume that they, for some reason, decide they've got lots of time in the hangar. Maybe they're being a bit sneaky. They're going to have a whole day to be a little bit sneaky. Uh, and he decides to hack... Uh, out onto the network and up here well obviously you wouldn't see there'd be walls here but they would get to see um, that there are other chunks of the network they just would be in the case of the droid workshop like four or five difficulty because he's kind of advanced I'm I'm a bit worried he has a lot of computing power and he has data breaker and he's got some bypass security um, look at him he's gone all the way straight down this so yes uh yeah he's he's pretty damn kick-ass so i'm gonna have to make this pretty tough um and you do want i'm gonna have to install that mod so what i won't do it now though uh what the plan is then is they could they could potentially it's kind of a bit of a worry they could potentially just go and just try and hack remotely, in which case I'm going to have to think about some kind of counter hacking shenanigans. Um, I also realized I need one of these on both sides of the door, something like that, but I can delete them um, myself when it comes to, yeah, so what I can do is, uh, I'll just delete that wall, walls are lame anyway. See, I, 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 is it because I need to hold down shift to make it snap and stay there? I think it might be. Yeah. So that's going to be, they're going to see, yeah, okay, that's the gateway through the through the network. Did that work? Who knows? So, um, yeah, they know that that's, why is that a green wall? What is this? It is is a door and it's closed. Oh, these might be open doors. Maybe that's why it's green. Door closed. Yeah, there we go. How exciting I can close it this way. Cyber tinkle. Oh, we don't have a cyber tinkle on this one. I will have to uh, update. Uh, I'll just copy these doors in future. Cyber tinkle, cyber tinkle. I mean, I just grab these sounds if you're interested. I just look up stuff on YouTube and then I use like OBS or sound recorder to, to to capture the sound as I hit play on the YouTube video. Um, I'm kind of tempted to get that to snap, but uh, maybe I'll wait for that mod, since that mod sounds cool. See, what would be cool is if when you drag a wall, the other one would stick with it unless you um, told it to stop. So, they'll then want to explore this network. Now, what I actually kind of hope they do is they realize that, oh, heck, like this... This is a bit of a tough one. We need to um, go and 
actually visit this location and within that location we know that there's going to be some really cool stuff in there so uh, we will want to actually what I think would make the most sense uh, is that on the inside the the out facing hack is all the same so that should really be a four right like to get out onto the network should be the same but to access the different parts of the network might cost you more that actually might even be a three but I'm only gonna let him uh, let the hackers or the hack do the scene once they are at the point where times of of the essence because if you just let them they'll obviously just sit around exploring the network all day long having a cup of tea and uh, that would be bad so I need to actually check out like cyber defensey kind of activities that might take place if they get caught problem is very good hacker so yeah the pirates I don't in in this sort of setup are not very smart so I need to then set up the walls for all of the rest of these and uh, in result and especially over here obviously will be that they can when they when they come to it hack so I'm hoping the players will be like oh okay so there's a hangar here oh there's a workshop network wow we should go get break into the network and that can involve our mechanics check although that again is the droid but they might have to schmooze their way into the workshop into the droid workshop in particular um, to access uh, stuff in here to access like the command channel if they want to talk to all the droids or access the service logs where they can find out a little bit potentially useful information for their plot um, security they would have to break into the security room to access it and then they can take control of quite a lot of this of the systems which would definitely help them if they plan to escape likewise with the hangar so yes that is the plan um, I have been rattling away for some time Oh, an hour god you poor buggers so I think it makes for a really fun scene and uh, I hope you do too if anyone is out there listening and has any interesting questions or wants to chat a bit let me know so um, that's how it will appear for the player we'll do another little test I'll drag one in and then it, what I'll do eventually is uh, I'll just run it properly uh, with uh, put all the walls in and test that new mod and all that stuff so as you can see oh yeah that looks that looks kind of cute it's it's clearly some kind of gateway I'm not the best network diagrammer in the world and then everything breaks because this this silly system yeah I mean when you get out here there's no walls but this, this system is still broken so we'll try that mod thank you very much hanger hang should be hanger I don't think so Really? Is that an American or an English thing? I'm going to type hanger or hanger into my browser or hanger. A hangar is a large building. Wow, have I got that completely wrong? That is amazing. It's a f I've never heard of that before. Wow, I feel very, very, I feel educated that's phenomenal so yeah I thankfully have all those slides still and I might jiggle things around a little bit to make them a little smaller give myself a little bit more or give the players a little bit more room that is phenomenal thank you very much uh, Mr. Mufa clearly more educated than I so um, yeah I think it makes for a fun scene my plan is so in the next episode they're gonna um, have to impress these pirate captains that they want to join or that's nominally why they're there the, the pirates um, don't really suspect much although the pirate queen I guess you could say is an old flame of one of the players um, which just adds extra fun so they, they're willing to give them a shot and they'll have to do a whole bunch of impressive stuff for these pirates meanwhile I'm hoping that they're also taking the time to recon the station so I might have to give them like three you arrived just in time you did I might have to give them like three challenges is my thought um, yeah three different challenges I had a really fun session doing challenges and uh, and that could be a bit of a laugh and that might give them enough time to do some research and figure out what's going on with their, their target they're after and all this kind of nonsense 
so that's a whole separate thing but then when they're ready to uh, break out they'll have either they may be able to access the network then but I might make it that they have to physically like break panels you know to get into the network they have to physically find a way to jack in because it's not that the station isn't designed to be easy to hack or with lots of data points everywhere so that's going to have to be suspicious behavior which they can't get away with until they are on their own but um, that's and then hopefully they can complete their heist. They can uh, um, steal a ship. I'm kind of hoping they um, they steal one of these. What is it? The star the star spark I've called it 99. So this VY YV 99. It would be a real boost for them. I've been it's been like 17 sessions and they've still in their crummy ships and I only just gave them some attachments for their for their weapons. So I kind of think they deserve it that's a pretty sweet ship but they might be less less ambitious and go for like a standard yt1300 so um if you're watching this after the fact and you're interested in seeing that session uh it's this monday 9 p.m new zealand time i will ask the players if they want to if i can stream it if anyone's really keen they may not want you to want me to but we'll see um yeah it's going to be interesting i don't know what they're going to do about their friend old gil and uh mises the um, mouse droid who it belongs to gil but we will find out in the next session. I'll pick a pocket or two, um, which is my game. So until next time, I've been Tony Parent, being good to uh, have you around. I hope you found this interesting and a different way of doing things and can understand um, how you would work this. Oh, I guess it's... Oh, I should, should have said this earlier. What I will sometimes do is... Of course, this one doesn't work. What I will sometimes do is allow certain kinds of things like triumphs and what have you to reduce the difficulty of the next check or to un maybe it would unlock a door in the same place so it might give them the access to both the doors something like that um, or it might allow an extra like a lot of advantages might allow two hacks in a turn and this is just to make the whole hacking thing its own scene the, the, the droid player is essentially out of combat he's not doing anything the players will be fighting off droids or fighting off pirates holding down a corridor while he's busy like you know hacky 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 trying to do the thing trying to get access to door controls and the hangers whatever he's trying to do so um that would keep uh, he's really busy so he has to have the option of doing you know, quite a few things in a relatively short period of time or the players will end up just sitting there in a massive long combat so the usual hacking rules go a little bit out the window for this and i just run it a bit fast and loose um yeah anyway it's probably enough for me it's been a long long video so i will catch anyone interested later or you can catch me on the foundry discord and uh in the star wars channel say hello until then good night goodbye have fun